Yeah, Kevin Falcon striking the fountain, very 2018 type of thing. Uh, this you, this probably never would have happened, but here we go. Uh, got uh, Captain Falcon versus Fox, uh, game one in uh, winners round three right here. Let's get, we're gonna see basically whose punish game is gonna be the more consistent because uh, PRZ and uh, Fox in general absolutely have the ability to do this, but Chris definitely has the clutch factor. He's uh, he's basically like the Chicago nun slash STJ. Uh, sort of like a combination of every decent, every good Falcon combined, and um, so he's got he's got the ability to pull it out when the time calls for it. But uh, if PRZ hits his punishes consistently, then I think he will uh, be able to pull it out. Just because uh, I've seen him play, and he's very punish heavy Fox. Crazy angle, uh, just a very hard angle to hit, but then screws up the ledge dash. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if Chris was really threatening the ledge too hard, but the ledge dash obviously the correct option. We're gonna see like where the momentum swings in this one, because uh, Falcon obviously very momentum based character. Ooh, good edge guard so far. Got a lot of back airs, and I like that he's not overcomplicating. He's not too m doing too much spacing. He's just kind of positioning himself and uh, doing uh, doing back airs. Uh, Chris recognizing the stock's lost. Does the Falcon punch for good measure. Oh, uh, accidental up B. Doesn't really take any punish for it. I think he got get up attacked. Ooh, ooh, that was a great up air, but uh, the, the, he actually wasn't at a high enough percent to get the uh, correct uh, follow-up there. And now the reversal is real. Um, got the, I think he up-tilted him straight out of that and then just got a ton of percent. So Kevin Falcon, after a seemingly innocuous sort of uh, interaction, is at 87%, which uh, basically means anything knocks down, but momentum's everything, like I've been saying. So watch for the big swings. That's where this match is going to be won. Raptor was get stuffed out. Ooh, up smash? Nope. Can't 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 react just yet. Up from there. Does he get the edge guard? Gets hugged. I'll, yeah, it's over. Okay, so he has to reset. Uh, sometimes Falcon cannot grab the ledge after that. In this case, he did. Uh, got some percent, but appears he's still up. A uh, clean stock at this point. He's got some damage, but uh, really, what's going to matter is oh, Phantom up tilt. He's going to need to basically build some damage here and. Uh, Make sure Chris doesn't get the chance to take it to last stock. Oh my goodness, what a gigantic knee. Fox was completely behind Falcon. The roll animation must have messed him up, but... All right, so now we got oh, Chris at relatively high percent versus PRZ hitting an up smash at 28. Uh, the next neutral interaction is going to be big because uh, PRZ will kill or Chris will start a combo. Here we go. Let's see if he... Oh my goodness! <laughs> the, the, uh, the down smash hitting on platform, that, that's going to do it. And it's just that simple. Falcon, kind of similar to Ganon in that case, only needing a few hits to close out the stock. Um, he was over 100%, but uh, like I said, the clutch factor coming in. Um, I think that if uh, PRZ is going to win these games, he needs to have a, a stock to spare, to be honest, because uh, that's, that's you just need that safety valve sometimes. Falcon is really volatile in both ways. Um, so Yoshi's is the pick. Um, me personally, as Falcon, I like this stage, but I believe that just because in the matchup, it's probably the worst stage in the matchup, debatably, compared to Fountain. Because uh, Falcon needs space to kind of evade Fox, and the stage doesn't really allow for that. But at the same time, Falcon has very threatening hitboxes, and if uh, Chris is definitely able to play aggro Falcon really well. So um, I, it's, it's, a, it's a good counterpick against the character. I don't know if it's a good player counterpick, but... Um, then again, if a player has experienced uh, the stage, they're going to be used to playing on pretty much anything. Goes for the wall jump, gets back aired. He did all he could. Falcon's recovery, not that good. So let's see how much damage uh, PRZ can build, or if he can actually pull uh, into a sizable lead. Uh, <laughs> I guess not. Um, getting need out of that Raptor boost at uh, 130, something like that. Um, Okay, so, so far throughout the set, we haven't seen Chris uh, really actually have a lead the whole time, except for the last seconds of game one. Um, but that's the power of Falcon. He doesn't really care about the lead as long as he's got his, his momentum rolling. Ah, that's a knee slapper. The accidental forward air um, off the ledge. We're going to see how this affects everything. Um, a one-stock swing is definitely possible in this matchup. Um, surprisingly, Falcon lives that. Gets to shine. 33% differential, but uh, this is uh, O'Reilly's first lead. Let's see how he plays the lead as opposed to PRZ. This is the turnaround on the up smash. Uh, he doesn't get a conversion. Let's see how he edge guards. Nah, backs away wisely. 
Uh, it's really hard to cover that straight angle. I think he's fine. Yep, yep. It's really hard to cover that properly with back air, but, uh, you know, rightfully holding in on the up air, because, uh, you know, you're dead if you get hit with a strong thing, so Chris did a kind of weak thing, so he could combo into a strong thing, because he just knows. Uh, now we got, now, now we see, oh, that is close. That was very, that was in, that was a efficient, <laughs> a very efficient stock. You see that, uh, he, j he got like three stomp reads and then just uh, decided it was time to finish it off and hit him with the, the, uh, the classic uh, reverse bear. Uh, actually, no, I think it was just a regular back air to knee, but okay. Uh, so that was, uh, that was an incredible.